Hello friends, welcome to the video number 12 for this Visual Basic for application in Excel series and well, in this video we're going to be talking about comparison operators we are not actually going to do any code, I don't want to saturate you uh, I mean especially for again beginners um, so right now we're just going to talk about the comparison operators but in about a couple of videos we're going to start seeing the if block uh, to make our code take decisions and well definitely also when we start talking about loops how to repeat our codes over and over again uh, while a certain condition is true uh, the comparisons are going to be well in our day-to-day -day basis so this is very important there are basically just six comparison operators and um, well the first one well, as you can see here, I have just declared a couple of variables. So what we are going to do is compare two things. Um, I like to think that we are always comparing two things. Even if I have to compare three or more things, we are basically just to be comparing one pair, and then that result is going to be compared to the third element, and then that result to the fourth element, so on and so forth. But basically, we are always going to be comparing just um, two different things, right? So in this case, let's say I have two variables, x and y, they are both integers, and I just want to compare their values. So the first thing I can do is uh, to see if they are uh, equal to each other. Uh, now for those who have actually, uh, well, seen a little bit of our other different programming language, uh, I mean languages, it's very common that the comparison operator in other languages is a double equal sign, like that. If you just use one equal sign, is the, the assignment operation, uh, operator. But well, in this case for VBA, you just have to use one equal sign. So just be careful with that. I think for most of all, uh, most of us that we don't have much practice with other programming languages, this might be the more natural thing or way to do it just is this equal to this but again in many other programming languages you have to put a double equals to differentiate the assignment operator from the comparison operator so now we can see also if they are different the way to make it different is you have to put both signs the less and the greater uh, than signs uh, in this particular order, right? You cannot put them uh, backwards or inverted. It's not going to work. So less than, greater than uh, signs together just to check if these two variables are different. Um, we obviously can check only if x is less than y or if x is greater than y. We can check also if is less or equal to y or if it's greater or equal to y in this particular order again you cannot say equal lower than uh, it's not gonna work so just thinking about it this way less equal greater equal okay so well that's pretty much it six basic uh, comparison operations that we can make um, and that we are gonna be using a lot in our code so that it can uh, take a decision to do one thing or do another or just to be um, repeating code through a loop and so this is going to be very very common in our code and well that's pretty much about it for this video so i hope that you learned something that you like it please don't forget to subscribe uh share and like the video and well thanks all of you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about logical operators